It's painfully obvious to everybody that he used his vastly inferior enchanter powers to alter Uncle Angus's will in his favor. All of the evidence points to that having been the case. Therefore, I shall never, never, never forgive that fiendish betrayal. Not in this lifetime or the next. Look at it this way. If you had received the benefit of your Uncle Angus's vast fortune, all you likely would have done was to have blown it on courting bimbos and wagering long shots at the track. As many springs and summers as you've seen through the years, Tim, you'd think that by now you would have realized that there's so much more to this life than the aimless pursuit of superficial gratification. So you say, what do you know of such things? Give me superficial gratification every time, thank you. Run the gamut before time runs out and it's too late. And in the immortal words of Hank Bukowski, There are worse things than being alone but it often takes decades to realize this. And most often, when you do, it's too late. And there's nothing worse than too late. Wow! Thanks so much for that traumatizing Skid Row Laureate gem. Way to send our more impressionable viewers running, in a panic, to self-destructively wield their grandfather's straight razors. Jeez, now we're going to have to run a hastily prepared disclaimer and post the number for the National Crisis Hotline prior to the end of the show. Swift move, Dilbert. Always more than pleased to infuse a little post-beat era counterculture into the stream and flow of things. Even if it's not fully appreciated by the simpletons in the Ghoul Beach Peanut Gallery. <sighs> How about sending the viewers back to the conclusion of our feature, while I seek to facilitate a little damage control here? As you wish. Thankfully, it's not too late for us to rejoin the spine-tingling climax of tonight's film. There's a bluebird in my heart that wants to get out, but I'm too tough for him. I say, stay in there. I'm not going to let anyone see you. There's a bluebird in my heart that wants to get out, but I pour whiskey on him and inhale cigarette smoke. And the whores and the bartenders and the grocery clerks never know that he's in there. There's a bluebird in my heart that wants to get out, but I'm too tough for him. I say, stay down. Do you want to mess me up? You want to screw up the works? You want to blow my book sales in Europe? There's a bluebird in my heart that wants to get out, but I'm too clever. I only let him out at night, sometimes, when everybody's sleeping. I say, I know that you're there, so don't be sad. Then I put him back. But he's singing a little in there. I haven't quite let him die. And we sleep together like that, with our secret pact. And it's nice enough to make a man weep. But I don't weep. Do you? Do you?